The clock is ticking in the Premier League. For three men, the countdown will bring either agony or ecstasy. The fate of Peter Wright, Phil Taylor and Gary Anderson hangs in the balance. It's another packed arena and another night of nail-biting action as the race to make the top four really takes shape. Two men are certain of their place in the playoffs, three more are battling to join them. Coming up tonight, Gary Anderson will state his case for a playoff place when he takes on Dave Chisnell. Two-time champion of the world, Adrian Lewis plays UK Open winner Robert Thornton. Later on, we'll see the clash between two of the guys caught up in that race for the playoff places, Phil Taylor and Peter Wright. A must-win match for both men. And finally, the bill from Newcastle is completed when league leader Michael van Gerwen faces fellow Dutchman Raymond van Barneveld. Party will it continue for Gary Anderson and Dave Chisnell. There's a lot riding on this for him as well. Well, what you've got to remember is this 5,000 difference between each spot, so from, actually from fifth down to eight, there's ten grand difference, and uh, five grand a place is a lot for Chisholm to play for, so he's going to be deadly serious up here. And what to impress for next season, try and get another Premier League spot. Well, exactly, he's great to watch, and he'll want to finish as high as he can, as you can see, that with a table there. If he can move up, well, take care of, uh, put Adrian Lewis back in his spot, yeah, that, that's uh, more prize money, but what he want to do is obviously win this week, win next week, sign off on a high, and leave him kind of fresh in the memory because look we love seeing 180s is it 61 in this Premier League so far we want to see more is this an advantage for Gary Anderson playing first and put the pressure on Taylor and Wright definitely in my opinion that's what I would have wanted to do and Anderson will want to do that after coming off that win last Thank week you, against Michael Van Gerwen and he played brilliant first. and he hit Game those on. doubles and the checkouts were absolutely superb and that's what he's got to do from the first leg Kelly send out a message to the other players here Nearly. Yes, thanks, Dave. 108.22, 103.19. Anderson and Chisnell's averages when they met way back 100. in Glasgow on week four. One of the best games we've seen in the Premier League this year. Anderson won it 7 5. More of the same, please, chaps. That would get the night Safety. off to the perfect start. Anderson, two wins from his last two games. Uh, We'll see him surely into uh, the playoffs. And uh, the crowd here in Newcastle, certainly behind the Scott. Anderson are beaten in his last five. Well, as you said, Stuart, he knows that everything's within his own grasp, Gary Anderson. Especially if he keeps throwing like that. If he wins his final two matches. Uh, tonight and also at Brighton next weekend, when he takes on Raymond van Barneveld, he will be in. That's because Peter Wright and Phil Taylor are Gary playing each other, so they can't both pick up maximum points of their two final games. So Anderson knows a brace of wins will put him in. Wanted the trouble to leave ball. 98. David Wall, 161. Well, uh, 161. I wonder, David, first leg of the night. So Anderson will be back for double 14 for. A perfect start, a 13 dart leg to hold throw. That's what the Scott will be thinking Gary about here. 28. Double 14. Well, double seven now then. Very awkward. 14. Too awkward as it happened. 68. What a chance from absolutely nowhere for Chisnell. Two darts at double four. Should be a good guide. Oh, two on the wire. This first leg will set the tone for the match. Crucial for both players. No score. Incredible. Six missed darts from Anderson. Not aggressive enough, perhaps. And yeah, Dave Chisnell has mocked up Dave double Chisnell. four. Leg is just felt with Gary Anderson, and you've made the point many times, Stuart, on these odd doubles. Just be aggressive with the first dart, and if you do happen to go inside, you're going to go split and get another shot at a double anyway. But I thought Gary was a little bit, a little bit timid. 
85. I think Gary's dart at double 14 was the one that left him in trouble because that was the one that, that fell short, forced him to go downstairs for... 140. Double seven, one of the most difficult. Anderson's finishing has been actually pretty good in the Premier League. 45% across the board 99. coming into this match. Those uh, six darts won't help him, but he's been up there with the best stats on the finishing. 140. His finishing isn't actually as bad as it's painted out. It's just when he misses those great clumps at double, like he did there, half a dozen on the trot, is when you really notice it. But generally, as you said, in the 40 percents, is not to be sniffed at. Nor is this. Straight between the pair. Too high, but he still leaves 81 after nine darts. Lovely stuff. Yeah, 45 percents it was coming into the game. It's dropped a touch after those... Six missed darts, uh, a double. Well, to hit back, double 13, to break straight back. 68, Damien Bois, 43. Well, could be in a spot of bother here, Anderson. Chizzy looking at tops. Double 10 for 2-0. 33, Gary Bois, 13. Well, choice of double here for Anderson. He chooses double four. Brilliant. On the leg. That's the way to bounce yeah. back. Welcome back to Newcastle for the Premier League, where Gary Anderson is attempting to stake his claim to a playoff place. A win essential. It's all level after the opening two legs. Well, three into two won't go. Taylor Wright and Anderson all battling for the final two spots in the playoffs at the 0-2 in a fortnight. Perfect. Got to be. 140. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, a lot of pressure on Phil Taylor and Peter Wright later tonight. Lewis and Thornton, the dead rubber in terms of qualifying for the semis, but a lot of prize money at stake at the bottom. And then the, the big two, the top two, Raymond van Barneveld and Michael van Gerwen. Winner there will be odds on to finish top of the pile. As Anderson. Halves his score. Again, leaving a finish after nine darts. 12 months ago, Premier League table finished. Van Gerwen first, Van Barneveld second, Taylor third. I wonder if it's going to happen again in 2014. 100. To leave tops after 12. Well, the aberration on the finishing in the first leg apart. This is an excellent performance once more from Gary Anderson because he's got down to a finish after nine darts in three consecutive legs. 118. And now, for a 13 dart leg, the Scot wants tops. Gibbs on the third leg. That's better, isn't Gary it, Gary? 2-1 to, to the now Amon. flying Scotsman. Rejuvenated Anderson as well. Four tournament wins, two semi-finals on the Pro Tour already in 100. 2014. In stark contrast, you know, Chisnell struggled all year. He's... Not had the best of results away from the Premier League. I just wonder whether the relentless nature uh, of the Thursday night Premier League has just taken a little bit out 96. of the tank for Dave Chisnell. Well, he was perilously close to being eliminated on judgment night, wasn't he? Where's Newton missed starts at double to uh, 135. qualify and put Chisnell out, really, and uh, having got through, he's lost four of the next five games. He did beat Peter Wright, but he's lost his other four games since. 135. Leaves the big one. Uh, Gary Anderson has had a 170 in the tournament so far. Chisdall follows suit here. Maybe require 170. Well, Anderson's averaging nearly 102, despite missing eight darts at double. 134. Yeah, that's a good setup. 126. If ever there was a time for Anderson to take out 126. Double six. 120. Oh, Dave Chisnell's favourite double. And he needs it to come to his rescue here with Anderson threatening. Now across, double nine. Gears Fans it with Anderson having missed one dart at double six, waiting to pounce on double three. All square. 95. He's 
played himself into semi-final contention, hasn't he, Gary Anderson? Three wins and two draws in the last five. 96. And we'll feel that we have the opportunity to actually win those matches that he drew. 140. Well, Wayne Mardle made the point, Stuart, didn't he, before the match started, that Anderson could actually qualify even if he loses twice because Peter Wright, two very tough games, and if he was to suffer two tonkings by Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen, Gary Anderson's leg difference, despite not increasing his actual competition points, he could get in. He won't be thinking like that, though. Well, it's exceptional. He's, he's only hit one maximum so far, but he's hit eight 140s, and we're only in the fifth leg. That's uh, incredible shooting Area from the Scot. And leaves 1 2 6 again, I think, for the third time. Not under pressure to go out this time, though. And 16 86. will leave tops. Time and time again, Gary Anderson leaving a finish after nine and a single darter after 12. It's, it's excellent stuff, scoring wise. 100. Gary Uruguay, 40. 105 average with nine missed darts and a double. Games on the fifth leg. Three out Gary of 12 Anderson. on the doubles. An average now of bang on, exactly 105. Impressive indeed, Gary Anderson. Now 105 average. You mentioned previously, Stuart, when they last met, 108.22, Gary Anderson, in week four. That remains the second highest average of this year's Premier League. The best, Michael Van Gerwen's 109.59 with that whitewash of Phil Taylor way back in week one. Very first night of the Premier League in Liverpool. Will it go? 100. Will that bar be raised by one of the big hitters between now and the 0-2? 60. A short change. Been hitting that treble 20. All through this game. 140. Chizzy hanging on in there. Yeah, but lost his way, hasn't he? Dave Chisnell lost his last three. He hasn't been that far away, but he's lost... I think he's lost three or four matches, 7-5. And a couple 7-4 as well. And that really is what has hurt Chisnell along the way. Close, but not close enough. But he's certainly... 85. ..competed, hasn't he, in his debut Premier League season. Absolutely worth his place. That leaves double 16. And that Eight leaves nothing. Three Stay apiece. Chisnell. Anderson had a leg the off leg there, to, to be honest. Game and Chisnell took full advantage, ties it up, three each. Got to be the lot. 180. Well, Chisney's the man who's hit more than anybody else. He hasn't hit one tonight, though. 61. 140. So far in this Premier League, Dave Chisnell, maximums. Yeah, there hasn't been a week where he's drawn a blank, Chisnell. He was hit at least one. So surely... He'll nail one at some point. 100. And the crowd in Anderson's corner. 60. A rare blip. Brilliant last week, though, wasn't he? In taking care of Michael Van Gerwen. 125. Gary Anderson. 161. Yeah, that was another ton plus average, averaging under over 103 and a half here at the moment. 59. But does that just open the door, I wonder, for a break of throw? For Chisnell to take the lead for the first time since the first leg. He's going to set it up. Well, 87. he should have set it up. Well, that's unlucky. That was unlucky. 74. So, Chisnell here. Break of throw. Well, he's hit a big three. His last two darts have been awful. Can he rescue the situation? 31. Well, Anderson Very here with a chance, really, that he shouldn't have had. 
Well, that's exactly what happened in the first leg. He was inside, then he was outside on double seven. 21. Well. Damien Watt, 18. Dave Chisnell should have had three clear darts and a double last time he told the hockey. He only got one. He's got three now. He's got two at double nine. He's got one at double nine. No score. Gary requires seven. Darting deja vu from the first leg. Double two then. That's a good dart. Welcome back to Newcastle, where Gary Anderson is edging nearer to the win that'll help his quest for a top four spot. He leads Dave Chisnell 5-3 as we pick up the action in the ninth. Commentary from Stuart Pike and Rod Studd. Well, we saw there, I think, in one leg, something that's symptomatic of why Dave Chisnell's not going to make the playoffs. Given himself an opportunity, then bodged it at the back end of the leg. Just can't do it at this level. And that's why he's losing game 7-5 and not drawing them yeah. or winning them 7-5. And that will, that will all come with Premier League experience, won't it? Chisnell will hope he'll, he'll put a good case and he should be included in the Premier League next year again and he'll be better for the experience, that's for sure. Yeah, I think the consensus is that it's unfair to give someone one year in the Premier League and then just consign them to the darting dustbin of history. Give them two, two seasons. So Anderson way back in this leg, should be, should be four apiece. How much pressure will Chisnell be under? Must, yeah, down for 17s. Double 16 for four apiece. Try double eight. Try double four, Dave. 24. Gary Ogwar, 74. Anderson, chance to steal. Tops. 70. 74, check out when he really, well, hang, really... Eight. Well, hang on, no, he's miscounted, hasn't he? He has, he's miscounted. he has, he went for tops. He went for tops. He, he obviously thought he wanted 70, not 74. And Anderson has become the latest victim of a miscount. Phil Taylor did it. Gary yeah. Anderson busted 169 a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Taylor... Was it Taking out 139 when he wanted 129. Yep. Chisnell still can't Gary find a double. You know, he's missed 16 darts, 16 darts at doubles. And Anderson there. yet again Gary wins Anderson. a leg, second consecutive leg My on double Gary two. Bruce. Well, he Game got on. there in the end with a little bit of help from Dave Chisnell. Yeah, but the miscount from Anderson may not make too much difference. Well... 119. He obviously believed he wanted 70. He didn't, he wants 74. Anyway, it makes no difference now. He's won the leg and he can forget all about it. He's got a two-leg cushion. He's 5-3 up. One more leg guarantees at least a point. 93. We talk about the missed doubles. I remember when... Chisnell lost to Phil Taylor in Nottingham as Anderson looks. Well, that's 10 140s now for the Scot. And Chisnell missed a lot of key doubles in that defeat to Taylor in Nottingham. That got Taylor going. Finally, 180 for Chisnell. Will it make any difference? He definitely needs the ball. 54. David Wall, 109. Needed a treble to leave double 16, so Anderson now to guarantee himself at least a share of the spoils. Double 16. Double eight. And Anderson pockets at least a point. Gary Anderson has now moved up to at least 17 competition points. That's one more than Peter Wright currently has, and the same as Phil Taylor currently has. Well... Well, there's, there's confirmation. 99. Anderson now up to 17 points. Interesting, last year, 17 points was enough for James Wade. 
to Safety. claim fourth spot. Peter Wright on 16. Well, it might be enough for Gary Anderson, yep. Stuart, mightn't it? Because Peter Wright has got two games to play, but no guarantee that he's going to get anything. Guaranteed that Anderson is going to get his third, 180. He's closing in on victory. 125. He knew coming into this that if he won his last two, he was into the playoffs. He takes on Barneveld in Brighton, knowing his fate is in his own hands and, and where he was after half a dozen Gary weeks in this Premier League. That's some achievement from Gary Anderson. Bullseye to win it in style. 63. Damien Poirot, 135. That keeps him in it. Treble 20 leaves Bull. Wants the Bull. 110. Gary Anderson Wong, couldn't get to the hockey quick enough. This to take. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed the number. He's going to have to. Three for double two. He's hit it twice already. 21. Well, he made a, 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 a right mess of that, didn't he? Missed the single one. Is he going to pay for it, Gary Anderson? Well, there's your James answer. The match start comes, a match start goes for Gary Anderson. Between them, they've missed 33 darts at double 100. in this match. It's an edge of the seat job. The flying Scotsman flying by the seat of his pants. Well, that dart into the single 18 instead of the single one. 85. How costly will that prove to be for Anderson? He hopes not. He was trying to leave himself two clear darts at double 16. 100. Back to back tons as he throws for the match. Well, I'm sure Gary Anderson at the end of this match will be the first to admit that he's made a bucket load of big mistakes, but it may not matter. His power scoring may be enough to carry him over the finishing line. 95. A few nerves flying around in Newcastle. Well, I'm absolutely sure. Yeah, you're absolutely sure you're right. And Anderson will have to take out 206 in six. 138. David 153. A match he knows he should have won already. Will he be back to throw for it again? He will. 100. Is this the moment he takes a big step towards the playoffs? Well, it's a wild dart. He was looking for 32. Look, 36, rather, to leave 32. He leaves tops for the match! And, the match. and for a place in the top four, and to keep his darting destiny in his own hands. Anderson defeats Chisnell, and if he can win next week in Brighton, Gary Anderson will be bound for the O2 Arena. And finals night, the Scotsman wins 7-4. Commentary for this match comes from Rod Harrington and Stuart Pott. Incredible, a week ago, 9-1-18s, Robert Thornton, he won two tournaments at the weekend, pocketed £20,000. Can he carry on this rich vein of form against Adrian Lewis, who, again has underperformed in a Premier League campaign. Well, certainly this man, the last couple of weeks, if you take all eight players, Stu, I think he is the form horse. Like you said, all them 180s, tour events. And AD for me, you know, he, he bounces up on his walk-on, but on the stage, in the game, he's just lost that little bit of bounce. And I'd just like to see him tighten up with that last start. I watched it at home last week. 
and he wasted yeah. the last start so many times. You know, sometimes it ain't just going to go in. You've got to make it go in. We say it so many times, and that's where Aidy has got to tighten up tonight. It's worth £10,000, perhaps, this match. Yeah, good darts. Potentially more. Six gets 45,000. Eight gets 30,000. Double six for Adrian. And this now is for a break of throw. Oh, he's missed, the, he's missed the big 13 to leave tops. Only one dart, only one dart. He only needs one dart. Well, that was a, that was a good rescue from Rob Thornton. Well, you can see how much it means to the Thorn. And Aidy would have been standing there thinking, well, he's missed the big number. He can't hit this double tip, uh, top, can he? And he goes and hits it. 140. And it's a good start for Thornton. As I said, this could be worth £10,000. Each place is worth five. And this will jump him, perhaps. Well, it will jump him 91. into that fifth position. Well, got to say, hugely disappointing, isn't it? 60. And he is as well, if that was no doubt. He's always very honest, Adrian Lewis, about the way he plays. And we all know when Adrian Lewis is... Uh, on top four with his A game. Very, very difficult, sometimes nigh on impossible to beat. But he just simply hasn't performed consistently enough in this 2014 Premier League. And it's the big scores, too, where he's lost it. You look at the 180s, he's, he's only hit 43. He's only hit 88 140s. That is very low for 80. You would have expected him to nearly double those and be up in that top four. But he'll bounce back. He's got that ability, that raw ability like the Van Gogh and the Anderson they possess. And sometimes they don't perform and then all of a sudden they turn up and fireworks. But Thornton now, bullseye to hold on to his throw and a 2-0 lead. A chance here for Lewis to get this leg back. That's a, a loose dart. Loose dart. He didn't even get a dart and a double from 78. You can see frustrated walking back. Thornton here looking at double four to double his lead. Lax from Lewis. Well, the one thing you can't give Robert Thornton at the moment is darts at a double. He hasn't been missing anything. And if it had this form, middle part of the Premier League, then he'd have been in that top four. 100. He's a gritty little character, never gives up. And this is where Lewis has got to... Now, he shouldn't miss this, Stu. Well, he hasn't. That's a better little start from A.D. Lewis. A little bit more deliberation over the third dart, and he makes his first 180. Well, that's what we like to see from Lewis. That 182 was perfect, but he knew before he even threw the last dart that it was going to be a maximum. He just makes it look so easy, which is, I guess, why it's so infuriating for, for him and for his uh, large legion of supporters. When he throws a dart like that, again, he's missed. He's only going to get one dart and a double when he should have had two. Thornton way back, so it doesn't make any difference. But that leg really has summed up Adrian Lewis's performance in this Premier League. A quite brilliant 180, which he hit without trying, and then missing the big number to leave darts at a double. Too inconsistent. Incredible to think, Rod. Lewis has gone eight weeks without a win in the Premier League. His last victory came in Nottingham in week six, and that was against Gary Anderson in a match he should have lost when Anderson at the end had a nightmare on the doubles. But since then, four draws and four defeats. Eight weeks without a win? That's certainly not the Adrian Lewis that we've come to know. That is an incredible stat. Last week, the six-all draw against Peter Wright. You know, he's going to that last leg, 
winning and, and just didn't compete in the last leg and made it quite easy for Peter Wright to nick the all-important draw in the week before against 99. Barney. Well, he got a bit of a good hide in at 7-3. And like you say, with this ability, but we've seen this with Adrian Lewis so many times. He's still a young man, 50. but a very experienced young man. He'll bounce back with that ability. He will do. But this man here, at the moment, no one wants to play him. 100. Good dart. That was a really good dart from Lewis. Pressure on Thornton here. You want to fill it up to leave tops. 135. Well, that was unlucky, but Lewis should get at least one dart at the double. Double top now to level it up and to break the throw. This time he hits it like the double 12. Better on those doubles from Lewis. Two legs apiece, he gets the break of throw. And now steps up. And the, I have to say, a bit more deliberate he's been this evening with the darts. He's not rushing them 16. like he did last week, certainly. Well, a couple of big games still to come here in Newcastle. Phil Taylor, what who made that awful start to the Premier League. Taylor knows if he beats Peter Wright, he is in the playoffs. Oh, effortless, effortless from Adrian Lewis. And then to round off the night, the top two already guaranteed their spots at the 0 2. 100. But who will finish top? The match tonight could go a long way to telling us. 140. Yeah, certainly a lot of bragging rights in that last match, the two big Dutchmen. And uh, Michael van Gerwen had a little accident last Adrian week, I have to tell you. Twisted his ankle in the hotel room. Had to duck out of the two tour events. But I can assure he won't worry about that pain. As Lewis now is going to have plenty of darts to take the lead here. 3-2 for the first time. Thornton, all he can do, put a big one in. Put a little bit of pressure on. Be ironic here, Stu. I mean, Lewis has hit the double. The first two legs cleanly on the shot out. Can he have three darts at a double? Oh, Yanni needs the second. Three legs on the trot for Lewis. Well, he's playing like this, a joy to watch. Absolute joy to watch. But Thornton will hit back. You can be sure of that. 95. But at the moment, Thornton just isn't matching Lewis for scoring. 15 points already between them in the averages. Here he goes again. This is this is the real Adrian Lewis. He's standing up and he's being counted. Brilliant. Well, that's Thornton's first maximum of the night. And Lewis to 106 on the average, four in the match. 100. And like you say, he is a joy to watch. He's box office when he's on this form. And that's why he's a double world champion. You've got to have that scoring power to buy yourself them extra darts at a double. And certainly 59. he possesses that, as I said, along with Van Gerwen and Chisnell. Well, we've not seen the best of Chisnell, but I'm sure we will. And here we go again from Lewis. And that's what I say about Robert, the speed of that last half. For me, that was just a, a tad too quick, a little bit more precise. Now then. 80. Well, it's a slack 81. last dart from Thornton this time, but a possible 11 darter. Well, 12 will do on the ball. 40. Well, that last dart Robert, of Thornton's, that's very unusual for him to waste darts, and it's cost him, perhaps... A dart at the double, it's only going to be a dart at the bullseye. No, it's at double five, a big dart here for Thornton. In and again, he takes out the combination. Three so legs all, and breath. you could see in AD's face there. He was annoyed that he didn't take that leg. 15 points between them in the averages. It matters not. The only thing that matters is that legs column, three apiece. Look at that. 
Lewis 95. with a golden run of power scoring, but he's still level at three apiece. Robert Thornton has hit three out of four on the doubles, that's why. Yes, and a couple of the, the real good legs from Lewis. Robert's just not done it. James White was the king of that. Didn't throw over 100 averages very often, but won seven major titles. And that's because he weren't worried about legs when he was so far behind. Well, the heavy scoring from Lewis, the classy finishing from Thornton. To be fair, Lewis, not too shabby either. 50% will win you most games, but Thornton's been excellent, really has. Unlucky, unlucky, Adrian, where was it? Hit the barrel. Yeah, but Thornton won both players' championship events at the weekend in Wigan. Big Keegan Brown, Brown and big Terry Jenkins and pocketed 20,000. Bullseye. Well, he went for it. He went for it. Didn't have to. Uh, the crowd love a bullseye shot. And certainly Adrian Lewis was going to give him a little thing to cheer about. But he's going to come back. Over that nine double sixteen to take a four Eight three three. lead. Eight this is with the throw. And at the moment, Thornton is not getting close to Lewis on Eight his throw. Pretty Eight tidy Lewis. from Adrian Lewis. Four legs to three. Welcome back to the Betway Premier League, where Adrian Lewis and Robert Thornton are on stage. Seven legs down and one Lewis one. ahead by one, but Thornton with the darts. Commentary from Stuart Pike and Rod Harrington. Lewis will be frustrated again if he goes another week without a victory. Lewis's last match is against Dave Chisnell in Brighton. Week 15 before we all head to the 0-2 for the grand finale of the Premier League 2014. It's one of those strange Premier League stats. Lewis has appeared in seven Premier League tournaments, only reached the playoffs twice. Not good enough. His words, not mine. Well, we have to agree with him, Stu. We know what ability he's got, and the double world championships prove that. The thing is, they're playing a great player every Thursday. You go off the boil and you lose. That isn't as if you can come back the next week and have an easier draw. They don't happen in the Premier League. 58. They're all the best players in the world. And they're all out to shoot you down. And especially AD with that Robert World Pearl Championship crown on his head. Well, pride and prize money at stake, but they are putting on a show. Well, he's, can he rescue it? Tops. 86. Well, if Lewis can put a big score in here, a double ten if Thornton goes inside, well, that will kind of do. Well, he doesn't want to go inside if he misses, he wants to be outside. He'll give it a guide. It's a little bit too far away, but that helps. He didn't want to split it with that third, first dart and go up to the fives, that's not a good route. But Lewis on his throw at the moment has been untouchable. Four apiece. Lewis 11 points. 16. Thornton on nine. But a Thornton win will put him up into sixth spot and drop Lewis further down. 85. Well, certainly Thornton has not been on that consistent form that he's had over the last two weeks and those tour events. Three out of the last four he's won, and they are tough to win, I can assure you of that. Well, he's won three. The last three Players' Championship events he has won. But to win two in a weekend, as you say, is, is astonishing, with darts like this. 140. 
Interesting, young Keegan Brown, who we'll see at the O2 in a fortnight in the, the final of the PDC Unicorn World Youth Championship. He had four or five darts to beat Thornton in the final. Couldn't finish the job. Thornton was telling me he put his darts in his pocket. 41. Yes, he did. Did you require 53? Keegan, one of the talents that are coming through the system now, and there's plenty of them. And again, I think that's the third time that Aidy's missed a big number. He's lucky that Robert is a long way off, but Top still get it back. And again, he misses the big number with the first dart, takes the double out with the third, and you can see him shaking his head, thinking, what is going on here? Well, it's catching, isn't it? Gary Anderson and Dave Chisnell had all sorts of trouble missing the key numbers and miscounting in the first match. And we've seen Thornton and especially Adrian Lewis here doing the same in this second game. Well, as we said, you know, there's 5,000 in between each place, although it doesn't go on the rankings, 95. it's the only tournament that doesn't. But the 5,000, you've got to get to the final of a tour event for 5,000, so 100. there's nothing to be sneezed at. And that's what they're here for, to entertain and earn a wage. 96. What a time this would be for AD to break, though, and then come back to take the win for the first time, as you said, Stu, for quite a few weeks. March the 13th, the last time Adrian Lewis won in the Premier League. 114. Well, it looks like being five apiece now. Well, Lewis's face telling you everything you needed to know. 74. Robert We've seen Yuzwa flashes 70. of brilliance, the genius that is Adrian Lewis. Tops here for Thornton. Beautifully done. Robert Thornton, 11th, like he said, so we're going the distance, five four. apiece it is. Well, both players 58. have already drawn five matches apiece in the Premier League, so it was always going to be a good bet for a draw, wasn't it? Still to come, Taylor looking for the win that will clinch him a place in the playoffs. 99. Peter Wright, who was seven weeks unbeaten at the start of the league, already beaten Taylor in the Premier League. Peter Wright needs, realistically, to beat Taylor again tonight. If he wants to stay in contention, all of a sudden, he's up against it after Gary Anderson's victory earlier. But two 85. of Taylor... Wright and Anderson will complete the playoff picture. Van Gerwen and Van Barneveld already there. 133. Yes, and Van Gerwen and Barneveld take each other on. Last game here in Newcastle. As you said, the right Taylor. It's a humdinger of a game. Looking forward to watching that one. Taylor, I have to say, it was edgy against Barneveld last week, played a lot better against Chisnell. 60. But is he going to be edgy tonight? Because Wright has been punishing people for the last 18 months for mistakes. Will that happen tonight? That's coming up very shortly. 90. He's going to require 110. Well, will we see a tub plus finish? Treble 18. 86. Robert, you require 147. Same equation. Big finish here for Thornton. That's perfect. Triple 17. Double 18. This will be brilliant. 111. Adrian, right on the wire. Sigh of relief from AD. Well, that's not a bad guy. Just come down from there. Chasing to the sixes, and he hits the six with the last start. Eddie Lewis, Lewis gets at least one point on the board. And now it's for Thornton to hold his throw to get the draw. Not a time not to hit a treble. Well, he's done that. 100. Well, six all would mean they've both drawn six games in the Premier League. But that point means that Lewis will stay ahead of Thornton. As it stands, it's all about the top four. The two Dutchmen already at the 0-2 on May the 22nd. Anderson's win is absolutely crucial. Anderson's fate is in his own hands. And Taylor against Wright on this stage very, very soon.
Confirming Lewis will hold on to six spots. 134. And he's putting pressure on Thornton here. Good finish to this game. He was a millimetre away from a 147 finish to break the throw 94. and throw for the game. And all of a sudden now Thornton is scrambling as Lewis looking to win it. Perfect. Just perfect, Mr Lewis. That third dart is what I want to see more from Adrian Lewis. Of course it went in the treble, but there was the pace of it. Very deliberate with it, and he's got to do that. That's what made him a world champion. Now for the win. Don't miss the big number this time, AD. Tops. Well, Robert, you require 123. Two match darts have come and gone for Adrian Lewis. Treble 18 leaves the ball. 98. So Lewis returns to see if he can win his first match in nine yeah, weeks. It's Adrian been a barren Lewis! spell in the Premier League for Adrian Lewis. But after eight fruitless weeks, Lewis finally gets a win on the board here in Newcastle. Wins a thriller against Thornton. Commentary for this match comes from Wayne Mardle and Rod Studd, but first, Dave Clark. Wright defeated Taylor 7-4 in Belfast. That's in the memory bank, isn't it? Everybody who beats Phil, he always remembers it and he always gets his own back. And that was a long time ago. Phil now knows that the darts are right, the grip, that was the problem. Even I said, you know, I didn't think he would make the finals because of the lost the weight, the grip of the dart weren't going right. But now he knows in his own head he's got everything right. Right in fifth, 16 points. Taylor, fourth, 17 points. Anderson, 18 points. It's that close, that close to get to the O2. Incredible. If Wright beats Taylor tonight, I mean, down in Brighton, it's going to be unbelievable. But Taylor, the mood is in, ain't going to let it get to Brighton. It's simple. Taylor wins, he's in the crowd behind him. Wayne Mardle and Rod Studd, your commentators. Thanks, Dave. Well, just looking back to week five in Exeter, when Phil Taylor lost to Gary Anderson, he had one win from five matches, and it didn't just seem that the Premier League was over, it seemed that it might all be over. But since then, he has proved that, indeed, he still has the power. Thank you, gentlemen. And first tonight, he to can complete his darting revival and book a ticket to the O2 in London by beating... Peter Wright, as Dave and Rob were saying, it is that simple for Phil Taylor. If he wins here, he is in. And then it'll be a shootout between Peter Wright and Gary Anderson. And this is the way to start a little bit of gunslinging. 140. The pressure is firmly on Peter Wright. He has to get something from this match or the match against Michael Van Gerwen next week. Otherwise, he will not qualify. After six weeks of this year's Premier League, Phil Taylor was sitting ninth in the table. Peter Wright was top. How things change. Well, Gary Anderson... 58. Well, if I was Gary Anderson, I want Phil Taylor to give Wright a right royal toweling here. He's not bothered about Taylor qualifying. Anderson is currently a point... Uh, sorry, a point above Taylor and two above Peter 59. Wright. He, Anderson should want Wright to win. Well, he, he's got to, he does. There's no doubt about it. Crowd cheering on Phil. 60. That's their favourite. Well, Peter Wright, as you can see. He's using shiny darts. That's because they're new. He really is a tinkerer with the tungsten every single week. That is now... My math was never very good, but I think, I think that's seven times. Seven times in this year's Premier League using 85. new darts. That can't be the way forward, can it? Can it? Well, we'll see. Sometimes works when a football team sacks its manager, sometimes doesn't. 
sacks his darts every other week. 100. Do you require 158? Power wants 158. Well, he started in blistering fashion at the start of this match. First two darts found the treble 20. Not much after that from PT. Nervy. Both nervous. Well, that leaves 48. Single 16 for double, for a break, and a brilliant finish. 89. Do you require 58? Well, for a crucial opening leg, Phil Taylor sizing up the single 18 to leave the top of the shop. Double 10 now. 38. PT requires 16. A chance. Peter didn't expect, I can assure you. Double eight. Double four now. Across the board. Gives that the first is a quality dart. It's incredible, incredible first. to even imagine that between 2005 and 2008. Phil Taylor was unbeaten in 44 Premier League matches. Amazing. I'll tell you what's also amazing, Wayne, is that Phil Taylor, the greatest 84. darts player of all, one of the greatest sportsmen the country's ever produced, admits that he's nervous in, in these games and has been nervous. I, I find that staggering that F Phil Taylor should be nervous about any darts match. He cares so much. He wants to perform at his very best. He, he, just wants to win all the time, and that's what makes him nervous. You do hear many a sportsman say, when I don't get those butterflies, then it's time to give up, and uh, that is it. 97. I'm reminding you, Gary Anderson, courtesy of a win tonight over Robert Thornton, is on 18 points. Phil Taylor has 17, and Peter Wright has 16. One more week of competition to come. That's in Brighton next week when... Uh, Phil Taylor has uh, the game against Robert Thornton and Peter Wright plays Michael van Gerwen. Gary Anderson plays Raymond van Barneveld. But therein lies the problem, like you, you said, Rod, for, for Peter Wright. Phil Taylor this week and Michael van Gerwen next week. Has to get something, otherwise, dream of making the playoffs. We'll have to be put on hold for another year. 137. Well, he had a great start, didn't he, uh, Peter Wright? Didn't lose until week eight, and that was Michael Van Gerwen who beat him. But he's got the early lead here, although Phil Taylor 60. in a strong Could position to level 84. up. Yeah, Peter was more or less gifted the first leg. Surely he won't be gifted this. 16 or an eight. 52. Will be coming back, but looked nervy in the first leg on the doubles. Did Phil... Well, he got two darts at double in that first leg, 100. one at double top, one at double Here ten. He missed them both. 32. He's going to get three here if he needs them. And he'll feel He's a lot happier to have Phil found Taylor. the geometric epicentre the of the bed with his first dart. Game on. My goodness, I'll take your word for it. It was in, that's all I know. Peter's performance right now. It's early on, I know, but averaging 82, his performances throughout the Premier League have, have been ultra-consistent. Loitering around the 95 to the 100 mark for nearly every match. Now, Peter, is not the time to go off the boil, my son. It could all end in tears. 80. Talking of tears, he's putting them on top of each other here. 140. Phil will know as well that, that Peter is off the boil. There's no doubt about it. And he's there for the taking. And that can sometimes make you try too hard and become impatient. 100. you just got to throw three at a time, and when your chances come, take it. Just like Phil has done for the last 27 years or so. Well, Peter Wright's only got one 60. TV success over Phil Taylor. That was the one at Belfast 
earlier on in the season. February the 20th was the date. And that's his only success over Phil ever. 83. Lost nine previous meetings. But that's all by the by, that's, that's gone. Nine. Singing the great man Sid Waddell's name here in his native Newcastle. The Geordie faithful out in force. 140. Well, this is a leg in which Phil threw first. He's under the cosh. Another one would be. Superb. Pressure on right. This is for a break. Double 19 then. No option. Well. He's got a smile out of Phil Taylor, he's got a roar out of the crowd, and will the crescendo end with a double? 79. Here we require 44. I'm not sure Phil liked that pause. Peter didn't. Double 16. Pressure. Oh Here's my! On the third leg. Taylor. That's why Phil Taylor Fourth has won so first. often over the years. He Doesn't off. feel pressure, does he? Welcome back to Newcastle for the crucial Premier League clash between Peter Wright and Phil Taylor. A must-win match for both men. Taylor ahead, but right with the darts at the start of the fourth. Yeah, Peter wasn't uh, showboating. I just didn't think he, he felt that comfortable, personally, on the double 19. Didn't feel that 60. that confident. And kind of took an age to throw it. And it was to the detriment of his game, not Phil's. Oh, that was four. 121. Four perfect darts. One hundred. Well, Peter Wright should level the match from here. A draw would keep things within his own control, really. Seventy-eight. Would be the worst result. Would still leave him needing to beat Michael Van Gerwen. What would be a disaster would be to lose this match. One hundred and twenty-two. Great second and third by Phil. Keeps some pressure on. Not much, mind you. Treble 10. 90. Nice setup to leave double 16 then. So Phil Taylor can do nothing but heap some pressure on Snake Bite's shoulders. 99. ET require 32. For a level game. Both players still looking, and I'm assuming feeling edgy as well. Nothing is coming easy to either player, is it? 24. Half chance Joey for Phil Taylor. Half chance to go 3-1 in front. Got to find the red bit above that dart. And he has, and now the red bit above the other red bit. He for a 120 on checkout there. and an Phil absolute Taylor. crippler. Wright missed three at double and first. Phil Taylor stepped in. Game on. That was a massive shot. But did you notice how Phil just kept himself in check, didn't get carried away, knows that that's only part of the job done, and now he's got to carry on hold throw, and then it'll count. Incredible mindset. 100. Winning your in scenario for Phil Taylor tonight in Newcastle would make his final match against Robert Thornton academic. 
Latest tonight, Michael Van Gerwen against Raymond Van Barneveld. Both the great Dutchmen are safely through to the finals night, but top of the table decider, really. 20 points apiece at the top, they have. 45. Only 45. We say it, we shall say it again. There's no point in breaking. We cannot hold throat. 140. It was more aggressive from Peter Wright. You see the last start went in with a, a real thud. Not thrown with the confidence we've seen in previous weeks. 140. Well, a lead of 54 is slender. Edgy averages. You would have to say. 85. Phil will be looking to leave 36, I assure you. Now 76 will do. 116, Phil. 100. Well, we got there, didn't we? 130. It's a quality visit. Get the feeling this has got to go. Should have a dart a double. Treble 20 leaves double 18, and he's not going to get a shot. 60. PT required. Well, Peter Wright, chance to break back here and get it back on serve. Mr. Bunch of darts at double last leg, wants tops. He's no problem. Leg. Peter Wright. Phil Taylor shakes Six his head. Peter, to throw first. Peter Wright nods his head. It's 3 2. Yeah, Phil would have been. Uh, he would have been disgusted with himself, to be totally honest. Like we said about breaking, you've got to hold throw. And the fact that Phil actually threw 15 darts 91. in that leg and only left 56, that was what be, will be so annoying to him. You've kind of gave the leg away. Well, he leads still, Phil Taylor, although I'd have to say unconvincingly at this stage with an average 100. in the low 90s for the power. This is where we are, MVG, RBB, safely through. Gary Anderson looking in very good shape, and there, the two men in green are the, the key names, Phil Taylor and Peter 81. Wright. Wright has got to get something out of this game. Even a draw would be a reasonable result for Phil Taylor. It would keep him a point above Peter Wright and level on get with Gary Anderson. 100. His leg difference would put him into third and keep him fractionally ahead of the Scotsman. Fascinating set of scenarios. Well, since the middle of the last leg, Peter Wright is throwing with a purpose. The darts are, are going in with, with confidence. What Phil Taylor has got to do, he's got to knock that confidence. Like that! 180. Yeah, 180 confidence knocker, well, but Wright wants 149. Could be the right score at the right time from Phil Taylor, because Wright has got that wrong. So, Phil Taylor, 1-2-1, one, one. we've seen a 1-2-0. 100. Good time to raise it to 1 2 1. 60. 11 or treble 11. Sensible dart, in my opinion. Bullseye. 71. PT require 49. Yeah, not quite out of the bullseye, Phil, even though you tell everyone it was. Camera never lies, double 16. And the truth of the matter He's here is Peter, Peter Wright has leveled the match Seven at three each. To throw first. Game on. Good few legs for Peter Wright. And two nice finishes as well. Two darters that, OK, whilst pros always say you should get them. A 55 followed by a 49 in two. Two legs running, that's good darts. Peter Wright's average has gone up. Winning the legs. Phil's has gone up by losing them. It's not a step in the right direction for Phil Taylor. 
Yes, when Phil Taylor took another 120 check out in the fourth leg to lead 3 1 and had the darts in the fifth. It seemed as though the tungsten tide was flowing the power's way. Not anymore. Not anymore. 85. Well, there we see the tons. The 140s just. Phil Taylor could be the stat at the end of this match. Not particularly great from Peter Wright. Decent from nine. Phil. But there is one man at the moment playing better than the other. Peter Wright is the man with that belief. 140. Good visit leaves the finish. But even despite that, Peter Wright will fancy his chances here. He'll bank that Phil Taylor can't go out 1-3-6. He'll want to leave a two-data. 65. Phil Yurkwa, 136. 60. Looking to leave a single data. 40 scored. 100. Peter Will he get a dart for another break and three consecutive legs? Treble 20 needed. Single 16. Crept in. Tops! 96. Well, you saw the distance. Peter Wright was away from taking the lead. Phil Taylor breathed again. Oh, now then. Wobbly one, double nine, oh my goodness. No score. Well, let me tell you, that second dart was one of the most nervous I've ever seen Phil Taylor throw. Had no oomph whatsoever, it was never going to get there. Gives on the seventh leg, Peter Ryan. Great leg is Peter to throw first. Shrugged his shoulders. He won't resign himself to the fact that he's going to get beaten. He just said rubbish. Peter Wright leads 4-3. If Peter Wright goes on to win, 57. he and Gary Anderson would have 18 points and Phil Taylor would be on 17 with one match left. He would still be odds-on to qualify because he'll 96. play Robert Thornton. He will be long odds-on to win that game and most pundits, bookmakers and punters would believe that one of the other two would slip up. But. You concur, Wayne? I do concur with you completely. You make a great argument, but 100. it wouldn't be in Phil Taylor's hands. No. If Gary Anderson wins next week and Peter Wright wins, this is all if Phil Taylor loses tonight. He will be out. Of course, it can all change within a matter of three darts. We know that. You know that. Led 3-1. All look good. All look rosy for Phil Taylor. Peter Wright well, looks 100. anything but rosy. Any other colour you care to name, he's got it on his shirt or on his strides, but it's looking very good for Snakebite. 58. Peter Wright is looking as cool as a cucumber. 58. We said before the match, didn't we, that he won't buckle. He's, he's just not that way inclined, Peter. He believes in his ability, as he should, because he's one fantastic dart player. What a switch. Do you require 170? Well, Peter Wright was averaging in the mid-80s, he's now averaging 98. Now then, another one there for a fanfare finish. Oh, tough, tough. 105. Not, not far away. Do you require 110? Well, he missed 116 in the previous leg. 61st dart. May stay there or treble 18. Well, went for the treble 18 to leave the double. 98. Massive shot. Huge shot. Got to find the outer ball. Always the danger. One dart only for the 16 times world champ. Dreams on the eighth leg. Filter. 
Welcome back to Newcastle, where Peter Wright and Phil Taylor just cannot be separated. It's all level after eight legs. This is now the ninth. Commentary from Rod Studd and Wayne Mardle. Brilliant darts from the six-time Premier League champ. That 91. dart at double four could literally be the skin-saving dart of his entire Premier League campaign. He could have gone 5-3 behind. He knew it, we knew it, Wright knew it. And now he comes out and delivers another monumental blow. I tell you what, he's produced when it's mattered in the last minute or so, Wayne. That's what champions do. But credit to Peter Wright. This is a situation that he's never known the like of before. This is his first year, remember, his debut year in the Premier League. And my God, he's acquitted himself well. The afterburners have been lit. 80. What an incredible burst from Phil Taylor. Phil Taylor throwing his best darts of the match. 140. And you could argue oh, yeah, his last 10 darts have been his best of the entire competition. Now wants double 16 to regain the lead. Fabulous. 11 dart leg. Off the back of the double four Peter last dart in hand. A Game dozen on. darts of almost perfection from the power. That is why darts is what it is because of the likes of Phil Taylor. It's so watchable watching someone do something superhuman. Peter Wright, 100 average with that 180. He is not going away. He refuses to lie down. What a match we have now. Well, it started off with some medgy errors, didn't it? And now we're being treated to some top, top tungsten. Last two or three legs. 96. World-class stuff. Under extreme pressure as well. They've dragged each other along, these two. So Phil Taylor just 82. needs one more leg to guarantee himself a point. Which should be handy. One hundred and forty. Brilliant. What a contest. As you said, Rod, it didn't look like it was going to pan out this way. The quality wasn't great. Now it's world class. It's amazing. Peter Acquire, 85. Well, he's caught fire here, but Peter Wright still wants 85 to level it up. Well, a bull. Or treble 14, treble 14's good for tops. Oh, 45. Here you acquire 99. Peter was looking for just one dot at tops. Actually, he got it, but missed. 82. Shouldn't go bullseye. It's the smallest target on the board. Should have gone 42. 59. Peter require 40. To level up the match once more. That's superb. That leg. really is superb Peter. because in the last couple of legs he's Those been on the wrong end of some ferocious pummeling from the power and he stood up to it and come back and levelled. Phil Taylor in the last three legs, is it? A 177, 2180s, and 11 data. And Peter Wright somehow just levelled the match at 5 all. Both averaging over a ton. This could be the, the make and break for both players in this year's Premier League. Full credit to both of them. Both at various stages in the match have been in trouble. 140. Fought back tenaciously. Now there are only two legs left. Is someone going to win both of them to take both points or will they be split and the points shared? 140. Gary Anderson will be sitting in the players' room thinking, 
Come on, Phil. Do a job, mate. Because that will help him massively. He's not looking like Peter is going anywhere. Both averaging a couple of ticks over a ton. Ninety-six. Vital last start. Doesn't leave a finish, but keeps him 136 in front. Good grief, is he going to hit his fifth here just when he needs it most? Three on a pinhead. Magnifique. No matter what Phil Taylor hits, Peter Wright will be throwing for 124 points. Peter Iguain, 124. For a break of throw. But he's under massive pressure. Will he get a shot at Bull? He will not. So, to guarantee himself at least a point here, here Phil Taylor wants 40. tops. Tops he needs. Cannot go the left-hand side. He has to go the right and gets Phil it. Taylor. Get in, you beauty. So the final leg is Peter to throw first. Game on. Big leg, huge leg. Well, from an entirely neutral perspective, you would say a draw is a fair result, but Phil Taylor's not interested in fair play. He's interested in qualifying for the Premier League semi-finals, and he knows if he wins this leg, he will be in. And I've got to say, 60. I know he's at 60, but all credit to Peter Wright, he took his time, he knew the, the importance of that visit and every other visit in this leg. But as you can see, the table. If, if Phil Taylor wins this leg, he will be playing at the 0-2 in the playoffs. It's as simple as that. 140. He can't realistically finish top of the table. That's almost impossible now mathematically 60. with Van Gerwen and Van Barneveld playing each other. And then people start jockeying position, trying to avoid Phil Taylor, Wayne, don't they? Maybe. If they know he's through, they try to avoid him. They should. No one in their right mind wants to play Phil Taylor day in, day out, do they? You've got to be insane. 60. No, playing Phil Taylor for a living is not the way forward. Phil Taylor just a shade over the ton. Peter Wright has dipped just below it. He's got to find something here because hasn't found a big treble in this crucial leg. 91. Nine darts and just found one. Phil Taylor, you see him. Take a deep breath in. Huge hex out. Knows that 140, even a ton, put massive amounts of pressure on. Not a 180, not in this leg. That would just be too 140. much. What a leg from Phil Taylor, knowing he needs to win on 161 after just nine darts. Brilliant stuff. 16 times world champion stuff. When well, he's got to hit the treble to leave an out. Yeah, well, he's found it. He has found it. Here we require 161. Treble 20. We'll stay there. Treble 19 or bullseye. 99. Well, that leaves a dodgy Here 62. 150. That's no gimme. If he returns. This is all about the first dart. 60 wanted. Got to stay there. Got to stay there. He's not going to use the dart. He's going for 54. He's got 54. Well, now is not the time to showboat. Now is not the time. This will be an incredible 132. start if it goes in. Here we require 62. 
Well, the 16 times world champion has seen it all. Now it's his chance. Now it's his time. One dart at double 16 to book his ticket for the 0 and it does not go in. Peter Aguirre, 18. I think Peter's shenanigans upset Phil Taylor. I think they slightly put him off. Yeah, they did the not play. put that man Peter off. Wright. He has Max the guts, he has six, the determination. Peter Wright has kept his hopes alive. A draw, six legs apiece between Phil Taylor and Peter Wright. We're still no nearer knowing who will qualify for the 0-2. Coming up, we have RVB versus MVG. Commentary for this match comes from Wayne Mardell and Stuart Pike. Who will finish top, as you can see, both on 20 points, both have a legs difference of 22. Michael is top because of more legs won against the throw. So this is all for bragging rights. This is who, for a week at least, will go into the last week of the league phase as top. Maybe going into the 0-2. It's top of the table. Yeah, four legs difference. That's all that separates them. Michael van Gerwen has won 33 legs against the throw. Raymond van Barneveld, 29. But I think, Wayne, really, really Thank important night for West the world flag. champion it's especially. Ready, Michael Van Gerwen suffered a heavy defeat to Gary Anderson. He was well beaten a week ago. He missed the weekend's action because he, uh, he hurt his ankle, flew straight back to Holland to make sure that he was spot on 59. to play tonight. And I think he's a bit of pressure on him tonight. He's got something to prove. Well, there's always pressure on the pair of them because the, the Dutch press, the media, they make such a a big thing of this meeting between the two most successful Dutch artists ever. That's what they are. So there's always going to be a battle of the Dutch, like the T-shirt said. Both of them a little edgy in this opening leg. Michael van Gerwen beaten in Glasgow, 7-5 by Barley at Hurst. I know, I saw him afterwards. It really hurt. Raymond has only been beaten once in the Premier League. That was to Wes Newton in week two. Wes was eliminated after nine weeks, of course. Week, week two, for goodness sake, that was in Bournemouth. It's been an incredible run of form for Barney, hasn't it? 56. Just refuses to be beaten. He's drawn six of those matches, but some of the, the play from Barney He's looked back to his best. This man has lost three times. 145. Well, that'll do nicely. Lovely switch from the Dutchman. The world champion Dutchman. The current world champion. Barley would love to win it for a sixth time, wouldn't he? Talks all the time about another world title. But this is all about the Premier League. Looking at two tops, he was Van Gerwen. Nowhere near, to be honest on the safe side didn't he it was very safe indeed didn't want to go out the board well treble 15 now well they're all over the place from Barney 66. eventually Michael leaves double 12 tops for the first leg that's a good marker well I told you they were edgy and nervy in this opening leg boy three missed darts from Van Gerwen can Barney, this is just a hold. Well, the last few weeks, Michael has been, I'm not going to say poor, my goodness, the averages wouldn't suggest that. His lowest average in the last three weeks. As we see the first 180 go in of this match. His lowest average has been 95, but it's not to his standard, is it? Just 95, 97. But the doubles have not been that easy to come by. As a nine data goes begging again. Eighty-two. 
Yeah, beautifully done from Van Gerwen. Should level up from here. Michael Van Gerwen, who in the past 18 months or so has just taken this sport by storm. You run out of superlatives sometimes when you watch Michael Van Gerwen play, such is the talent. Tops for one all. 36. Revenue of Brown, 154. Barney, going to get a shot. Got to go, you feel, otherwise it's going to be one all. Well, this time, no mistake on double ten. A right smile on the face of Michael Van Gerwen. One apiece it is in this crucial game. Who will go into the last week of the group stage on top of the table? It's coming up. It really is. What a response. Brilliant dance. Well, they've settled into it now, haven't they? They really have settled into it. Back-to-back -back 180s here, Barney goes again. Oh, seven consecutive treble 20s. But that'll do. Now it's Michael's turn to have a go. And the pace was so rapid the first three darts of each, and, and it kind of subsided again. Barney took his time on the fifth dart. We'll look at treble 13. Well, that's a brilliant leg from Barney. He's left 58 after nine. How much pressure will he be under? Well, quite a bit. Two darts for Barney. 18 for tops. That's the way he's gone for 2 1. 11 darter. Fabulous leg from Raymond van Barneveld. And Michael van Gerwen was only sitting on 84. What a leg of darts. Michael averaging 105. Barney, just a ton. 85. 2013 Premier League final table. Van Gerwen one, Barnevel two, Taylor 99. three. I just wonder. It's possible. Barney, switch in. Successfully. These two know what it takes to win. Michael know, knows what it takes to win the Premier League, whereas Barney doesn't. Six-time semi-finalist. Never made it to a final, which is incredible. I don't know if you see there, Michael just going out a shot. He's touching his ankle. I don't know if it's giving him any jip whatsoever. Maybe cause for concern. 96. Revenue of Brown, 140. Oh, that's the perfect dart. Perfect from Barneveld. Well, he'll be disappointed with that. The first one dart was so Michael good. But pressure on Van Gerwen here. He may only get one dart. Well, he's missed a big number. That's a great recovery. 62. And then he snatched the last Ready dart at double 12. 20. So this for a break. What a chance for Barneveld. For 3-1. Double 10. In shot on the four flags. Driven on Barneveld. Fifth leg is Raymond in third class. Game on. Well, Barneveld strikes the first big blow. And... This duel of the Dutch darting masters. 49. Got to ask the question, is Van Gerwen's ankle troubling him? Doesn't appear to be. <laughs> Doesn't appear to be. Another leg started with a max. Five 180s already in five legs of darts. Five perfect darts. 125. My goodness. That was a rush of adrenaline. Thinking about the nine. 
There hasn't been one yet in this year's Premier League. Well, this is the kind of leg Michael needed as well to break straight back, stop the Barney charge. 42. Rueful shake of the head. He was in total control of this leg, Michael van Gerwen. Will he be after this visit? Barney needs a big treble. 56. Michael Lepar, 154. Beautiful dart. Needed the treble, 18. The Raymond van Barneveld takes out 156 more than any other player. I'll tell you why, Stuart. Because he leaves it more than any other player. Well, not this time. Shuts his eyes, shakes his head. Triple 17 would leave tops. Tops left. 116. Michael Lepar, 16. Crucial moment in this match. Long way off. Good dart, last dart in hand, sign of a champion. We always say that about Phil Taylor as the master at winning legs with last dart in hand. Welcome back to the Betway Premier League for the clash between the two men at the top of the table, Michael van Gerwen and Raymond van Barneveld. This is now the sixth leg, commentary from Wayne Mardle and Stuart Pike. Good adjustment. 100. Hundred and two Van Gerwen. Hundred and one Barneveld. One hundred. Two class acts. And a classy match. Yeah, these are the real deals, aren't they? Used to practice a bit together. Michael back in 2005 was the, the up and coming Dutch superstar. Now he is the Dutch darting superstar. Well, this would hurt Van Gerwen. Travel 17 to leave the ball. So the world champion and the Premier League champion will return. Looking to level up this match. That's a good dart. Aggressive. Trademark celebration, it's three apiece. And after the dramas of the last leg, where he was, well, missing doubles and then hit the last one on double four, to hit it, hit it first dart, it, it gives you so much confidence. Oh, yes. Seven 180s. Seven legs of darts. Magnificent. 58. Well, Barney's getting run over here like he's, he's not even there. The way Michael's playing. And you can't afford to let Van Gerwen get on a charge because we all know what happens when he does. He's unbeatable. End of. Barney somehow... He's just got to stick with Michael and hopefully he gets a, a shot. Because sometimes when, as you quite rightly said, Stu, when he goes on, on the march, he, he can be incredible. Does not seem to miss. 134. Fabulous switch. He's left 87 after nine as he looks to break the Barnevel throw. And win a third consecutive leg One here, number. Michael van Gerwen. Didn't have to go, 55. the bullseye route. So leaves 32. And he's averaging 105 van Gerwen despite missing eight darts at double, by the way. That's, that's how impressive his scoring has been. This for a crucial break. We'll have to move. Oh, Eight lovely dart. Never in doubt. Just 31% on the doubles and averaging 104. He, he, he knew coming into this match he had to lay down a marker. 
against Barneveld, but also after his defeat against Anderson. Just make a little bit of a statement to the rest heading towards the playoffs. And of course, both these guys are going to be involved in huge 16. matches in Brighton, not necessarily well for themselves chasing top spot, but Van Gerwen plays Peter Wright and Barneveld plays Anderson, who are both battling for a semi-final spot. What a night that's going to be in Brighton. I was talking to Michael Van Gerwen before this Premier League started. The selection process had just been done and he said he doesn't just want to qualify, he wants to top the league because he, he done it last year and he's, he's doing it again. Interesting, the PDC will be talking about possibly uh, putting out an incentive for the man who finishes top for next year's tournament, which I think's good. This could be very good. This could be very, very good! Well, as you can see, just like the last leg, Michael's so far in front that the previous shot doesn't even have to be hit. He's finding himself three or four darts 65. in front now Michael because Barney's Sanders. scoring has deserted him. Shot on the four straight legs. Michael Van Gerwen. He has taken control of this game. He's looking to go clear. Two points clear at the top of the table. 16. For Barneveld, who was sparkling early on, the fizz has gone, he's gone flat. 100. Was it the barrage of treble 20 hitting from Michael that's caused it? 100. Well, that tells a story. 60. 10 points difference in the averages. Well, shake of the head now. 16. We've always known that Barney is a better front runner than Chaser. Yeah, one in the middle, just for good effect. Treble five, treble one, treble 20. Now, this is a chance now for Barney to stop that rot. Just seems to be lobbing them now rather than throwing them. I've got to win this leg, got a whole throw. That's all it would be, a hold of throw. The back comes Michael Van Gerwen. Wants to leave 56. Well, that's never a gimme, is it? For a point. Treble 20. Bullseye. Raymond, you require 96. It was close. It was very close. And this has to be spot on. No mistakes. No mistakes to stay in the match. Well, after a disappointing leg, you have to say, Wayne, they were two terrific darts. 140. Brilliant from both. And the fact that Barney has, has been so off the boil for the last two and a bit legs to actually have the confidence to do that. 140. You've got it, you've got it. 60. Well, only 60 from Michael Van Gerwen. Is this the moment for Barney? 57. Well, there's your answer. That was a chance. Yeah, we see that so often, don't we? You know what you've got to do, but you just can't do it. You try too hard. Well, that's a perfect marker. Raymond loves the, the bottom wire of the 60, a bit like Phil Taylor, and builds upon it, but not that time. 93. Well, important last start. Potential two data to get at least a point, and a point will keep Van Gerwen top of the table. Two will put in two points Michael clear. 60. 
16 or an eight. Tops. Tops for that point. Michael van Gerwen, first of the Dutchman to reach six legs. He cannot be beaten. Will he pick up two points? Or just the one? Well, there we have it. Whatever happens, Van Gerwen stays top of the table. But what a night we're going to have in Brighton with Phil Taylor, Gary Anderson and Peter Wright separated by one point, all battling for the two remaining places in the playoffs. A Taylor win over Thornton, an Anderson win over Barneveld. And it won't matter what Peter Wright does against Michael van Gerwen. All three games, massive, what a fantastic finale it's going to be. Could not have worked out any better. If you're sitting at home watching next week, it's going to be a Brahma. Five 180s now for Michael van Gerwen. Michael wants one, three, two. That is the finish that he took out to win the Premier League last year. He hit the 25 and the 57 and the ball last year. Deja vu, exactly the same. The reaction, the same. The celebration, just the same. Michael van Gerwen beats Raymond van Barneveld by seven legs to four and remains top of the Premier League. What a night of darts.